Dear brothers and sisters, on the day of our baptism, we were anointed with the oil of chrism and took part in the mission of Jesus. We became priests, prophets and kings. Today's liturgy of the word is focusing our attention on prophecy. In the first reading, we hear about the call of Ezekiel to be a prophet. He obeyed and proclaimed God's word with courage. We know from the other scripture readings that he was rejected by the Israelites. They were not interested in God's message. Similarly, Jesus was rejected by his own people. They even thought that he was out of his mind and sought to seize him. That is why he said the prophet is only despised in his own country, among his own relations and in his own house. His strong message, repent and believe the good news, was not welcomed. For locals, he was just a son of a carpenter, not a prophet of God. I am aware that it is not easy to share our faith among those closest to us. They know our weaknesses. They know that we are not perfect. Nevertheless, we are called to give witness to our Christianity everywhere, including our neighborhood. We were chosen to be prophets not because of our holiness, but out of God's will and mercy. We cannot wait to proclaim good news of salvation until we will be holy as God is. Otherwise, we would never start. We learn from today's second reading that even St. Paul acknowledged his weaknesses, but they did not prevent him from preaching the gospel. The Lord Jesus assured him by saying, My grace is enough for you. My power is at its best in weakness. The power of Jesus stayed over him and the same power is available to us today. The Lord wants to work wonders through our ministry, despite our limitations. If we truly want to be faithful to our Christian prophetic vocation, we have no choice but to go out and proclaim Jesus as the Saviour. Despite what others will say about us, we need to do our best in building the kingdom of God. In his vision, Blessed Francis Jordan saw every baptized person as a prophet engaged in the evangelization of the world. Founding a new community in 1881 in Rome, he wanted lay people to be faithful to their baptismal calling and to share the gospel cooperating with priests. So, if you were baptized, remember, you are a prophet. Please, use that dignity with reverence and humility. Be open to the Holy Spirit. Be faithful to his inspirations. He will reveal to you the best way of sharing your faith with others. You might start by welcoming new friends. Smile and be positive in your relationship with your neighbors. Invite them for a coffee or to lunch. Make a sign of the cross before a meal. Sooner or later, they will ask you about your faith. Then you can let them know that you are a faithful Catholic and Jesus is the source of your joy and optimism in life. You will have an opportunity to share with them your experience of God's love. Have courage to stand for the truth in our confused world. Your new friends and other people who will observe you and who will listen to you will have to make a decision to accept what you represent and to change their lifestyle or to resist and face the consequences. Leave the judgment to the merciful God. Don't enforce anything on others, but invite them to follow Jesus. Be an enthusiastic and smiling person convinced about the authenticity of your faith. Hopefully, by your encouraging words and witness of life, you will help many people to find salvation in Jesus Christ.